this is what the box looks like out of the box. So you can notice hot and cold from the bottom being fed in. Yes, they are half inch. And then you have port A, port B, and port C. All of them are half inch as well. And your matrix, your piping matrix up front with your, your level area on the side. We give you your roughing dimension. So if your finished wall falls in between this area here, you'll be perfectly roughed in. And then also on the top, we give you a little diagram and a dimension for the tile. The tile should be within five millimeters or three sixteenths of the rough box itself. So when you seal it with caulk, it is sealed into the wall perfectly so no water can get inside the wall and cause damage. On the back side, this is one of your, your mounts so it can go up against a solid wall. Or we also have this mount that you can ratchet forward or back and there are clips to lock it in place so you can use this to solidly mount your, va your valve as well. So with every Go Smart box, you do have a ledge to put a level on to make sure that the valve is level in the wall. And then on the front, we have a matrix showing you all the different piping diagrams. So for this one, we're using a shower head and a hand shower. So we will be using port B and C. And A over here, we will be capping off. So here we are on the back side of, of the wall. And as you can see, the hot and cold are coming in from the bottom. And then we have port A capped off for this configuration, port B going to our shower head, and port C to our handheld shower. Always cap off the port that is not being used. You do not want any surprises in your wall as this will always be under pressure. So for this configuration, we are using the front bracket or the front brace to mount the valve. You can see we have it mounted on a piece of half inch plywood. Um, the box will fit inside of a two by four wall, no problem. You can see there's plenty of room back here if they wanted to put the wood on the back side of the rough valve itself and mount it between the two two by fours. But in this case, we have it screwed into this piece of wood and we're using the front bracket. And you can see it's very solid. 